Hi, everyone. I'm Max Marganaut, and I'm here to talk about feature selection. Feature selection is a critical part of your model building workflow because this is where we actually pick which independent variables we're going to put into our model. And oftentimes, the best place to start with this is common sense. What features do we have some sort of intuition for that there is a relationship between that feature and the output variable? Oftentimes, it makes sense to include a feature that we want to know about, that we want to quantify, even if it, it ends up being not a statistically significant feature, just because we want to have that value. We want to quantify it. Once we've gotten past the parameters that we just have to have in our model, whether for business reasons or for our own personal edification, there are a number of ways that we can go about actually adding parameters to our model. But it's important to be cautious that we don't add too many par parameters that don't add additional information into our model, just because it's very easy to overfit when you have too many independent variables. To this end, we often use a variety of different criteria to make sure that we are actually incorporating useful information. We add some sort of penalty for having additional parameters. These are criterions like the AIC or the BIC, which are metrics based on the likelihood of your model that incorporate a penalty based on how many parameters that you have. You can also use the adjusted R squared, which takes our base notion of an R squared and adjusts it by the number of parameters in your model. These are often used together with some sort of stepwise regression where we add and take away different parameters one by one until we eventually converge on some model that has a lowest AIC or BIC or a nice and high adjusted R squared. There are a number of different statistical tests that you can use to determine whether a given feature is going to be useful in your model or not. One of these is a chi-squared test, which we often use as a test of independence to determine whether there is some relationship between features that we want to put into the model and the outcome variable for our model. We can also use an F-test to determine if any individual features are useful or not. Both of these metrics, as well as a number of others, are available in the scikit-learn feature selection module, and you can use them in conjunction with this function select k best, which chooses the k best features according to whatever metric that you feed in, and you can use those in your eventual model that you put together. You can also fit a regularized model first and pull out the non-zero parameters from that model and use them in the final model that you actually use. So this is when you fit something like a lasso regression or an elastic net, and then you take the non-zero parameters, because these regularized regressions will often force a lot of parameters to zero, and you take those that are non-zero and then you just use them in conjunction with the features that you really want in the model that you finally use for prediction. 